Hello, hello, familia. Welcome, welcome. My name is Mags and Janet. If you're new, welcome to the fam. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're always here having a good time and come visit me on TikTok and Instagram because I'm there daily. And of course, welcome back to my oldie, the goodies fam. Finally, you've been asking full face of Sephora slash Sephora recommendations because the saving sale started yesterday, the 5th. Today, the 6th. I'm going to try to get this up for you tonight. I want to focus on new products that just released and also a little bit of staple products that I always use all the time I know love and trust it's gonna be a little bit of the old faithfuls and a lot of the new new I like to prime my eyelids with concealer the coverage is a lot better than most primers I find that the Mario one is really really good because it's pigmented and it's sticky you want primer to be a little bit on the sticky side so that your eyeshadow sticks on you want a concealer concealer Consistency a little bit on the thicker side too. Those tend to be sticky also. Let's just blend this baby out. And I like to add it all over the lid so it can get rid of that discoloration. By the way, on my lips, I have Fenty Heat. I like to always use a plumping gloss when I'm doing my makeup just because it adds nice color to your face. All Fenty lip glosses are legit. This is the time to buy it because these are mainly staple products I use every day. I prefer the heat because I like a little plumping action on on my lips so they can look nice and red. And I want to talk about three palettes that are worth your dollar dollar bills. The palette I love is the Mario Makeup. This one, which is the neutrals, the warm one, are beautiful. These are the most buttery, creamiest mattes that really adhere onto your lid. It lasts all day. I've been using this since it released. If you're not into matte eyeshadow palettes, any Natasha Denona palette will do because it has great mattes and great shimmers. So these, you get that quality pigment, that glide on, that super buttery. I love it. And another one that I really like, and it's a small business. You guys know Kristen Dominique. She is a YouTuber. This palette is available at Sephora. Look how huge these pans are. This is like an everyday palette. You also get mattes and shimmers. These work so beautifully. This is actually a new palette because the palette I was using was broken. So they were nice enough to send me this one. I'm gonna probably do a little mix of both of these palettes just because why not? Look how big this mirror you get. Girl, this thing's huge. You know, I've been loving a smoky little eye lately. I'm gonna use this Marco, Mark, what? I don't know why I can't speak today. Mario Brush EF2. Let's start with this shade right here. That, that concealer down. Uh, gently, gently. I like to really press that in just so that that concealer is set. Oh, that's nice. And once it's set, that's when you can start kind of going back and forth. Ooh, that is pretty. You can kind of just do this motion. I like to set well because, you know, I have some oily lids, girl. We're going to go in with a bit of a, the deeper shade, which is this shade right here. It's called True Self. I'm going to use the corner of this brush and build it up here right on the crease. So I like to keep my eyes open and really press, 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 press that in right here. These pans are so huge. You'll get your money's worth off of this one. Lately, I've been doing like a smoky eye. It is literally the easiest look. You wanna know why? Cause harsh lines, there's no harsh lines. You just keep blending. If something doesn't look good, you just keep blending it out and that's it, you know? Ugh, love it. I'm gonna get this smaller Sephora brush. Number 15, I love this little thing. I have two or three of these because it is so good. Look how small. It can really get into your crease so well. Now we're gonna go on to the neutrals palette, get this darker shade. Start like winging it here. Nothing too harsh. And then kind of bringing it up here. I actually wanna bring it out more like this. I'm gonna get this brush right here and really get in there. It's not a wing, a little messy. You're gonna blend that out like that and then blend some more, I see. Get back here. I'm gonna go back in with Dominique Cosmetics, this shade right here, add it in the inner corner. Ooh, an inner corner, like a bright inner corner like this. Look how bright this is. It will really brighten up the eye area. I used to be scared of a white eyeshadow in the inner corner. I was like, whoa. This is not white, it's like more cream. Now it's legit my favorite thing. 
Then I want to get the Mario and do... I've been loving like this shade right here. It's like a mauve tone. Maybe tap right there. And this is the beauty about this palette. You can tap all the shades, mix them all up, and you'll get some nice color, honestly. And I'm just going to add it here. It's like... You see, it does something. Let me finish the other eye really quick. In three, two, one, eyes are done, done. The only mascara you need right now is Rare Beauty. It's so good. It is my go-to. I use a lot of other mascaras, you know, I am a mascara girl. But one that's tried and true is this one. You can build it up and it gives so much freaking volume. You know I need all the volume I could get because I don't wear falsies. So look at this. I love the way this mascara is formulated it has waxes where you can really build it up even when it's dry it won't flake and it won't make you look like you have spider lashes look good these are my staple primers you know i love this Vanessa myricks bomb you can use it as a primer or as a like skin tint bomb because it's not too balmy and it's not too oily this is a great primer my second bottle this is you know oldie but goodie and this one also both of these are a bit of a gripping primer so we're gonna use cali ray i love this thing oh my god am i almost done with it again this one is blurring it's smoothing although i I have oily skin i like a good blurring smoothing primer it does help with the oils we're gonna let this dry down because this is a little thick thick so you really want to get it all up in here especially that t-zone you know i'm a double priming gal so let's use the sticky primer from urban decay and i like to just work this in like the perimeter like right here and press it in sticky primers the way you activate them is by pressing in they're always going to be a little bit on the wetter side you have to let it dry down a little bit to also get that tacky effect while i wait i am gonna start color correcting this huda beauty color corrector is great i have this pimple that has been up in here for a long time if you don't know what color corrector is it's going to color correct this darkness darkness on your skin like these dark spots this peach cancels out browns purples grays you see, you can already see it, but the trick to it is because this is so thin and formula, but very pigmented, you want to let it dry down so it sticks onto your skin. You always want to let things dry down. I promise you it will be a game changer in your makeup. And while we wait, let's use this Diera, Diera, <laughs> the Or Forever Glow. It just released. It is so good. I think it is better than the Charlotte Tilbury one because it gives you this subtle glow, but it also also smooths out your skin glow typically accentuates a lot of texture not this one not this one so we're gonna get it with this brush and paint thin layers Thin layers of a glow will work really well and if you're like what is the point of this this gives you a nice internal sort of glow throughout the day when you have skin warmth your skin is gonna look so glowy like you're so healthy I love it. It makes a difference with the makeup and it also smooths out all while giving you this natural glow. You see, you can also wear this by itself. It is tinted, so it'll give you a nice little color, not too, too much. And I like to really work it here at the tops of the cheek. Ooh. This is pricey. This is definitely worth the sale and to get it at a discount price because it is, she's expensive. Now let's blend this. It's been sitting here for a long time. We're going to be nice and color corrected and highlighted. I love this color corrector because it's pigmented and thin. It does the job of color correcting. Oh, love it. All right. Skin is looking so good. Foundation. I don't want to be too, too overwhelming, but I do want to bring up the two new ones that I really, really like. These are quite opposite. This is a full coverage hydrating matte and it literally sticks on your skin. It's a self setting foundation and it truly is i did a two-day review on it if you want to check it out it's up now this is quite the opposite in the sense that this is a very hydrated pigmented foundation that lasts all day because it's hydrating if you have oily skin you will have to tap your skin but it is pigmented it wears well doesn't break apart doesn't separate especially throughout the day makeup forever though they do make up so so well the armani luminous silk is an oldie but goodie it's a faithful it's such a great foundation it is long lasting and hydrating but it's not gonna be as hydrating as 
as this one. A silk luminous foundation that makes your skin look stunning. And a new one that I am very surprised I like so much. I like skin tints, but I'm not a heavy skin tint wearer because I'm a full coverage queen but this one it has a nice texture it has spf 50 it wears so well the only thing is that you have to set it very very lightly because of the type of texture if you put too much setting powder it will ball up and it will crumble that happens with anything hold on i know look it's tripping already with anything thin if you have a thin textured anything and you put a lot of powders on it it's it may not work you have to match textures with textures if something's a little bit thicker you can add a little more powder if if it's thinner you just add less powder I kind of want to just go with this one and I really love like the component in this look you can just do this motion and I've never been the type that does this directly I like to just put it on my hand this is that that type of Ooh, I'm gonna get whatever that was here I'm just gonna paint it on thinly. I like to use this brush because it gives you thin, thin layers. You can do it with your fingers too. You know, I also apply my makeup with my fingers, especially my base. I always use my hands though. I think using your hands, the warmth of your skin really be hooking things up. And I'm gonna get this brush and just press it in. You always wanna press in your foundation, not like this because it's gonna move and you're gonna get streaks and then you're gonna wanna add more and then you're just using too much product. And using up your product you know you guys know who am i kidding i am such a mixer should i add a little bit of the a little bit of the makeup forever one here let me shake it just just a little bit just just a smidge and fyi these foundations do oxidize urban decay one does do a a good amount of oxidation i would say maybe like a shade and a half or two honestly though most foundations oxidize there's isn't a foundation that i've come across that doesn't oxidize at least a little bit you notice how foundations oxidize on your hand or when you apply it it's because it's out of the bottle and there's oxygen hitting it so it's just gonna oxidize kind of like fruit like bananas apples oh looking good the concealers honestly i've been loving are these two tower 28 and this quickie one tower 28 it is the perfect serum concealer if i think about a serum concealer what that is it's this one it's pigmented but hydrating it has a bit of a light texture because it's so pigmented it doesn't look like it you can let it sit for a while and it won't dry down super matte it is truly one of my favorites i think it's a newer version and an updated version of the nars creamy radiant that's my jam too. I really been loving that concealer. I don't want to use it today because it's older, you know? So always we want to let this dry down. While we're letting these dry, you know what? Let me add some of the Mario here just because let's talk about concealers this is my favorite house labs is a favorite it was a favorite in the last sephora cell which is why i'm not using it today but i really love it it's pigmented it blends well it lasts all day this one is great it just dries a little bit more than the others it's not matte where you're gonna look cakey but it does have a bit of a quicker dryer time and this one i love because it literally sticks onto your skin it is a little more on the matte side anything that's gonna stick on will be more on the mattifying side but oh this is so good i love the coverage and pigment and because it sticks down i will have these all linked for you too if you want to check them out along with my shade and then you know i love me the beauty blender beauty blender is the one thing well no there's many but i use all the time it is my sephora staple I've used other sponges and they're fine. Something about this sponge. Not only is it the perfect size, squishy, it lasts a long time. I'll just wash it and wash it and wash it. It doesn't rip. I find a lot of the other types of sponges do rip. I can be running out of sponges, you know? The pink one's my favorite. I've tried all the colors. I like the green one, but that one was like temporary. I've tried the blue one. It was nice, but they never brought that one out again, I think. So look, you see this concealer? Told my friend about this concealer. She loves it. She's literally obsessed with it. She doesn't wear a lot of makeup and she likes very dewy makeup. She's like, girl, this is the best concealer. Okay, now to the second best, some Urban Decay. I'm just adding it right there because it's a lighter shade. I want a little bit more of a highlighted look right here and while we let this wait and dry down oh my gosh i'm messing up i'm messing up the order i'm messing up the order okay i meant to 
cream bronze. It's okay. This is one of the palettes that is so worth 20% off or 10% off on the Sephora sale because it's quite versatile. And I saw that they just released the bronzer and blush palette. It's in my cart, so I'm about to buy it. Let's use this to bronze the skin. And I love it because you can make your own shade. If you're like, this is too expensive because it is, it's about 80 bucks. Bronzer sticks that are old faithfuls and honorable mentions is Rare Beauty Fenty. I just recently got my hands on this. I really like it. It's super creamy and blendable. LYS is just that girl. I love this so much. It's so good. So these are options too. Bronze up right here with the little custom shade I created. Like anything you can make custom, I love because you're not forced to use one color. And that's what's the beauty about these palettes right here. And it's subtle. I think I want a subtle bronze today. I always say that, but you know. You know, you know me. And this is not just a bronzing palette. It's actually a face palette. So you can create a foundation shade, concealer shade, bronzing shade. You got all the shades here and highlight shades. Look at me. Look at me go. Look at me go. I always say I'm a stop and I don't. Just love how creamy this is. I don't use this palette a lot because I know it's so expensive. But when it's on sale, like right now, I'm going to use it. It's a staple. Liquid cream blushes that I really like and I find myself going to get them is you know rare beauties this is just a staple in everyone's makeup it lasts a long time and it's 22 bucks it's very affordable it's perfect and then Vanessa Myricks we're gonna use Vanessa Myricks because I've used and abused rare beauty blushes a lot and there's a lot of new good makeup but I was looking right now as I was like collecting everything I'm like wait there's certain things that I just like like cream blushes I stick to two right now which is this one and the rare beauty one it's so pigmented and creamy. Vanessa's that girl. Oh yeah, love it. Now that we're here, oh my God, I've let this sit way too long. Let's see how it's gonna. Oh, it's still blending out. Okay, hey now. I always like to do my concealer after my blush and bronzer, but girl, I'm too excited. I completely, completely forgot. And then I always just like to go back, you know, back in, back in. Reinforce these steps per the use. Cause we're about to set la carita. Two powders, you already know. You already know that I love. Set my under eyes with this. You know, I recently used this powder puff right here, the one size. I really like it, so we're gonna use it today. You know, I kind of stopped using my Amazon ones because I noticed they don't work as well as the higher end ones. That's just, that's the fact. I did a lot of market research on my face. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding a lot of research and a lot of trial and error and these are the ones that are it i did see sephora collection has a powder puff so it's in my cart right now i think i'm gonna buy it and test it out and see if we can get that one and that one does the trick you know, we could save our dollar dollar bill. So I'm gonna use Makeup Forever. This is their new setting powder. I do have a review on this too. You know me, I have reviews on everything. Let's just set this down, press it in. I wanna really just bake right here. Because I like both of these, I'm just gonna use both. We're gonna use a little bit of Huda Beauty in Peach Pie, like that. We're gonna press it in. Just press this down the skin. I like to press powder in. Well, you know, I like to set my skin well because I do have oily skin. We're not trying to look all gastadas, okay? Those are not the goals here. Oh my God, you guys, I just found the two foundations I took out that I wanted to talk about really quick. It CC Cream Matte. This is another very hydrating matte foundation. It's very adaptable, number one. You could thin it out like a skin tint and you could build it up like a full coverage. So I love the adaptability and the versatility of this product. No, It Cosmetics really combines skincare and makeup so well. So it's a no brainer type. And a stick foundation that I'm surprisingly liking is this Ilia one. Not only does it last all day, it's pigmented, it glides on the skin well and it's buildable it is very buildable i don't find that a lot of stick foundation are really buildable you know but oh i was very surprised i didn't have high expectations with that stick foundation i'm not in awe with any new bronzers at sephora right now if you have any recommendations let me know i'm kind of sticking to my old faithfuls which are these two actually this is kind of new newish the lys in the shade courage it's like a very neutral bronzer but i really like the Sephora Collection one, it's more of a contour. So I've been adding both a bronzer and a contour to my makeup and I just feel like it does some good stuff. It just adds a little more dimension. 
to the face, I feel. And then with the contour, I like to use a smaller brush. This is the shade number two, the Sephora collection. Sephora collection is always 30% off during the sale. So we love that for us. And I'm just pressing this in. And I like to just concentrate it here at the end and kind of underneath. You see, it creates a bit of a dimension that we didn't know we needed, but we do. We do, I promise. Oh, girl. Girl, girl, to clean these cheekies up. Actually, no, girl, I'm missing the main thing. Hold on. What? How can I? How can I miss that? Oh my god, more things I'm forgetting. Eyeliners that I love, that I will always love, are these two. Rare Beauty and Fenty. So good. Fenty's hydrating concealer is good. I didn't use it today because I wanted a full coverage. This is a very hydrating, pigmented concealer. It's not as pigmented like as a full coverage. It will give you more of a lightweight, hydrating look and feel. So FYI, I really like it. I did a two-day review and ooh, it works out so well rare beauty rare beauty has these blushes that are the luminous blushes You're still in all about these we're about to use two today this is cheer this is joy but what i was thinking i was thinking the the wheels were turning the rare beauty blushes are powder luminous blushes but i really want to talk about some powder blushes that i love that are literal staples in my collection this armani luminous blush it's not even that luminous the word luminous is added we think very glowy sometimes luminous it's not matte but it glides well but it's not luminous it's something right in between that's what i find with formulas like that like the armani foundation it's a luminous but it's not matte and it's not super super glowy it's like that right in the middle this is also favorite the makeup forever matte blushes these are very similar the formulas are very similar if i have to pick i think i would pick armani patrick tall these are bomb get a two-in-one so i think it's a great deal for $38. This cream is super pigmented and then the powder really seals the deal. If you want something that's a two-in-one, you don't want to buy two products, buy this one because it's really good. I have a hair right on my face. You know how when you could feel a hair? Oh yeah, it's huge. It's my girl. It's like a little... <laughs> A little itchy. What I've been doing with these Rare Beauty blushes, I've been using the cream and then topping it with these. But because we're being a little extra today, let's get the Armani blush. Let's add it here. Just a little bit. Just, just a touch. A touch. I always say a touch and look at me go. Okay, let me stop. Should we add some here? Just the... <laughs> okay, for real, for real. Let me stop. I'm gonna just use the same brush because why not? We're gonna use Cheer. Ooh, you see that? And you guys saw I reviewed this and I did a two day review. It's bomb. It works well by itself, under powder, under creams, under everything. Like look how, let me turn the brush around kind of and then do joy. You see joy? Joy, joy is giving me joy. If you wanna smooth it out, you smooth it out with your finger. This will also help the texture. Anything Lumi will always accentuate texture. That's just the name of the game. It's not the product fault. It's just luminous things will accentuate texture. If anything, you can concentrate it towards the back of your face like this. I mean, the back of your cheek instead of going right here. I would recommend like a matte blush. If you like that pink little look, you can do this number here with a matte blush, something like that, you know? Someone asked me like, oh, you powder twice? No, I powder about four times. Like I powder a lot because powder not only seals the deal, it blurs everything. So if you want to blur some of the texture you may have from something luminous, you can just top it off with some powder like this. Or you're good to go. You're good to go. Talking about powder, you can get rid of this bake with either tapping here with the powder puff around and around or the sponge. I find with the powder puff, it gives you more of a blurred look than the sponge. Ooh, look at this skin. Look at this skin. Look at this skin. An eyeliner that I love is the Urban Decay. This is the brown shade. I've been doing a lot of brown eyeliner. It is whiskey. And I'm just gonna add it right here. One thing I've been loving is the Easy Bake from Huda Beauty in the shade Blondie. Or right here, like in the inner corner. Really get that brighten effect. Oh, yes. We want to go back with the bronzer and just kind of blend that powder out. You see how it was right there? And then the blush. Oh! 
Another thing I like to always do, especially when I'm not reviewing foundation, set the skin down with foundation powder. I like this powder because it's not too pigmented and not thick, but too pigmented where it adds too much because we already have a lot going on. I like to add this after all my powders are here. It just softens everything up. You can just go over all the edges. These are subtle steps that make your makeup last a long time and look bomb I promise my camera's about to die let me go switch off the battery <laughs> setting sprays that I love you can tell rare beauty this is a hydrating spray this app, no oh no I'm not look oh do we still have a mist going yeah just a little bit so good it's hydrating it's great for makeup prep and also after your makeup this one I've been loving a lot have it in my bathroom I spray it anytime I go to the gym before I wear my makeup before I do my skincare this is bomb it makes your skin just feel so soft and it preps it very well for makeup this I would consider this more under a skincare type this is more makeup makeup prep type these if you want your makeup not to move ever again in life use both of these I'm gonna use actually both you don't want to spray too much setting spray on your makeup because it can break it apart because these are alcohol based but I'm gonna just lightly spray some Charlotte Tilbury I'm gonna let it dry down I always recommend just spraying doing one good mist and you're done I'm being extra right now because the Sephora sale is going on and you're always extra when the Sephora sale is going on right oh my hands are so dry now this one on till dawn that's it this because it's aerosol it's not too wet another little tip you can always do is go back after you set with your sprays with your powders I'm not adding more bronzer to my brush I'm just going with whatever was already there my contour and my blush it just adds an extra pizzazz. Let me figure out this lip because you know how much I love a lip combo. Be back. You know what I was thinking? I'm going to do my hair, right? It's a little bit oily because I just have oily hair. This right here, K18, the magic that keeps on giving. I like to add dry shampoo like this and just, it's wet. It's not even dry. And then we're going to, again, no white cast. Look, no nothing. And it lasts three days. I test it out. I'll post the YouTube shorts with this along with this video. And then I just like to do one more here because it's wet. So when you dry it like that with your hands, it kind of activates it. No white cast. Cool. Love this stuff. All right, peinadita, peinadita. You know I love me my Shiseido eyelash curler. I always let my eyelashes dry all the way down so that we can curl them and they don't get stuck to the lash curler. And my lip combo, you guys, Makeup Forever. Yes, I'm restocking because Limitless Brown is my jam. Orchata from Urban Decay, Perfect Brown, and just the gloss. And these are the brands that do great lip products. That Makeup Forever lip liner is is change my life change my life just kidding being super dramatic but that brown perfect perfect brown let's go in with makeup forever limitless brown lip liner orchata from urban decay back in with the lip liner to blend everything out a little fenty heat moment in hot chocolate Okay, full face of Sephora for the Sephora VIB sale. Look, we're going to get close so you can see. There's no Mickey Mouse business going on here. Look how good the skin looks. Ooh, ooh. And you may think, like Magdalene, it's a little much. It's a little excessive. No, it's not. Because, let me tell you why. The way makeup, especially full coverage, even lightweight makeup, is going to last on your skin and look nice is by layering. It's going to be thin layers, but ultimately it's going to end up being a good amount of makeup because you've layered slowly and thinly your makeup on. Even the eye look was layered on. Mascara, you guys saw I did two, three layers of mascara to get my lashes to look like this. Bronzer, blush, that's just part of the process. Anything that you can layer well and slowly will last and look good, especially on your skin. I know the, the no makeup makeup look is like a thing. If you have oily skin, or if you wear your makeup all day long, a very thin layer of makeup is going to wipe off in two, three hours. Once your skin warmth starts coming through, it can just melt off product. When you have layers on, it sticks. It kind of has to go through all these layers. And by the time it gets to the last layer, 
girl, it's like 13 hours later. And you may or may not be looking gastadas. You know what I'm saying? And that's another thing I like to do with my reviews and my makeup videos is show you how makeup lasts all day long without touching up. Because we didn't spend all this time in the morning to get our makeup looking fine. And then four hours later, you gotta touch up. No, ma'am. That's not what we do up in here, okay? But this is it. I love every single product here. I use it. I recommend it. If you can get your hands on it, let me know. What are the things that you are looking for at the Sephora sale? Are you looking for skincare? Oh, skincare. Quickly, I don't have it with me, but the It Cosmetics Gel Moisturizer, you need that. The Belief Eye Cream, you need that. The In Beauty Vitamin C, you need that. Those are the three main morning skincare, my nighttime skincare, the retinol from Murad. The overnight retinol is my favorite. I will link those down below. Those are like the skincare products that I've been using for a very long time. They work so well. And yeah, I didn't want to skip out on skincare, but I know skincare is always a popular for the Sephora sale because skincare is one of those things if you do skincare daily your skincare doesn't last long because it's something you just use daily you know kind of like a foundation or a concealer if you use it every day it'll only last a few months you know i do want to get the jackie Ina fragrance her new fragrance so i'm gonna get that oh talking about fragrances you guys ysl you see me use this perfume all the time this one and the other one my favorite and i just got the armani at the sale that Sephora just had to 50% off. Oh my God, it's so good. Look, I already used a lot. They're not very perfumey. They're not strong. I don't like a very strong perfume because I am very sensitive to fragrances and scent, but these are just nice and subtle. Ugh, I love it and they last all day. Okay, for real. I will link everything for you so you can shop my links. I do make a small commission off of those links. It helps my channel out tremendously, so I appreciate you if you use my links down below and I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for hanging out with me and spending a little bit of your day with me. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the button right there and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.